You know, Karen, you may be right. Caroline's probably up there right now, nudging us all along. Well, I know that she nudged me from Texas to L.A. What makes you believe that? It's just an intuitive feeling. Uh, you may be honest something. You have family here, a father, and I'm sure Caroline would have wanted you to know him. Well, she also would have wanted me to know you, Rich. You've been teaching me so much about Caroline. It's almost like I feel she's still alive. Yes. She is still very much alive, isn't she? Does it hurt when you look at me? Why would it hurt? Because I'm so much like Caroline. Does it bring back painful memories? There are no painful memories of Caroline. Not even at the end? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Ridge. I didn't mean it to sound that way. No, I know you didn't. It's just she was so young. The two of you had so much ahead of you. So much to live for. And all through her brief life, I was just off in some other world, completely unaware that I even had a sister. All I had was this constant aching inside, an emptiness that I never could really understand, like a part of me was missing. It was Caroline. You know, we could have so easily have been one person. But for some mysterious reason, at the moment of conception, we split into two people. Two genetically, spiritually identical people. And I never knew her. I never even had a chance to know the one person I would have been the closest to. And now it's too late. 